Hi guys, my name is Faiz Azwan. Today, we will learn how to grow a crystal using few simple items such as salt, hot water, and a container, and a stirrer. Now, let's get started. First, pour hot water into a container and add salt to it. the mixture thoroughly until the salt dissolves completely. Keep adding salt gradually while stirring until no more can dissolve, leaving some undissolved salt at the bottom. This means the solution is saturated and ready for a crystal formation. Now, filter the saturated salt water solution using a strainer. This step removes the excess undissolved salt leaving only the concentrated solution. Pour the filtered solution into a shallow dish. Leave the dish with the salt water solution in a safe, undisturbed location. Let it sit for several hours. Many hours later. Many... And that's it. We have successfully grown our own salt crystal with just salt, water, a container, and a stirrer. Try this fun experiment at home and see the result for yourself. As you can see right here, the crystal I've grown come in various sizes, showcasing the beautiful of nature's pattern. Among the crystal I have successfully grown, three remarkable ones, each measuring 0.7 cm in size. We also have 11 smaller crystal, each approximately 0.5 in size. It's amazing how this tiny structure form and grow, reflecting the intricate processes of sign in nature. This beautiful cubic crystal was formed using common salt or sodium chloride. But have you ever wondered why they take on this unique shape? Let's dive into a sign behind it. Salt crystal form because of their underlying crystal structure. Sodium chloride has a face center cubic lattice or also known as FCC. In this structure, sodium ion Na plus and chloride ion Cl minus are arranged alternatively in a repeating three-dimensional pattern. Each ion is surrounded by six oppositely charged ions, creating a stable and symmetrical lattice. The strong forces that hold this crystal together are called ionic bond. These are electrostatic attraction between positively charged sodium ion and negatively charged chloride ion. This bonding not only gives the crystal its rigid shape, but also explain why salt has such a high melting point and hardness. In an FCC structure, atoms are arranged in a very specific way. They are positioned at each corner of the cube and at the center of each face of the cube. This arrangement creates a highly dense and efficient packing structure. Now, let's look at how the unit cell composition of an FCC structure add up to a total of a 4 atoms per unit cell. Each of the 8 corners of the cube contributes 1 over 8 of an atom to the unit cell. This total to 1 atom from all the corners. Then, each of the six faces contribute 1 over 2, which is half of an atom, to the unit cell. This totals to the three atoms from all the faces. When we add this together, we get one atom from the corner and three atoms from the faces, and become four atoms in total. Now, let's discuss the packing efficiency of the SCC structure. Packing efficiency, also known as the atomic packing factor, is a measure of how effectively the atoms in a crystal lattice occupy the available space. For an FCC structure, the packing efficiency is approximately 74%. This means that 74% of the volume within the unit cell is occupied by atoms, 
while the remaining 26% is empty space. This high packing efficiency is a key feature of FCC structure as it ensures that items are closely packed together, maximizing the use of the available volume. Now, let's discuss the coordination number of FCC structure and explore how it differs in pure FCC structure compared to ionic compound like an ACL. In a pure FCC crystal structure, the coordination number is 12. This means that each atom in the lattice is directly surrounded by 12 other atoms. However, in the case of sodium chloride, which is an ACL, the coordination number is reduced to 6. Why? This distinction arises from the ionic nature of an ACL. An ACL consists of sodium ion and chloride ion. These oppositely charged ions are held together by ionic bonds, resulting in a different arrangement compared to atomic arrangement in pure FCC structure. In an ACL, for this case, each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions, and each chloride ion is also surrounded by six sodium ions. This specific arrangement leads to a coordination number of six for both types of ions. The structure reflects the, ba uh, the balanced attraction between positive and negative ions, ensuring stability. Now, let's quickly summarize the key values for the FCC structure. The age length of the unit cell is related to the radius as A equal to square root 8 times R. And 4 unit cell contain of 4 atoms. And 4 APF which is atomic packing factor, the packing efficiency is 24%, meaning that 24% of the volume is occupied by atoms. For coordination number in pure FCC structure, the coordination number is 12, but in an ACL, it is 6 due to ionic bonding. So, that's all for me. Thank you.